Sure. <laughs> Welcome back to the backyard barbecue, except it's <laughs> raining outside, so we had to bring our barbecue inside. Anybody know this guy? Yeah, I think you might. Jerry Ebert. Everybody one of our knows bloggers. <laughs> he came in here because he said he's one heck of a griller. And I have to tell you, um, Courtney was telling us early that the bloggers were watching Jerry even even in between our segments. You can watch uh, some of our cameras streaming live on right. the web. And they were saying, oh, look, it's Jerry, and who's that, and who's that? So we're excited <laughs> to have you here, Jerry. Thank you. In. You excited to be I'm here, happy Jerry? I'm to be here. Excited. All right, I don't want to have to give you a nitro over here. Take I'm it ecstatic. Easy. All right. I'm ecstatic for being here. Now, tell now, me. We're making um, a, a pork loin, right? This is a pork loin. Mm -hmm. Yep. And what did you do to why start? Did you, why did you, first of all, why did you choose a pork loin? Because I started this about three months ago. I wanted to experiment on how to cook the perfect pork loin. Uh huh. And and it took you three months to come up with the perfection. Yes. Well, he's got this secret yes. dry rub that yeah. he won't I, even tell us. Well, what, what's I, in it. I told him what was some. He told me a little yeah. bit. All right. It's a guy yeah. thing. I get it. Yeah. I get it. It's Listen, a guy I get thing, it. You know? <laughs> Well, I All know right. that um, what you've started doing is you were telling me that this is a mix of vegetable oil and olive oil. You threw in some onions, some green Correct. peppers, and some red peppers. Correct. And I, a little bird told me, Which Jerry. Also. What's that? Some green snap peas. peas. Yeah, those sugar snap peas. Is that what they are? Yeah, that's what I'm eating. Yeah. I know. Aren't they delicious just to munch on? Right? Oh, fantastic. Um, and Jerry, you actually, uh, a little bird told me that not only are you a prolific uh, griller, but you're also a pretty good gardener, too. Yeah, somewhat. Yeah. I love I love to prune flowers and talk to me about the grilling. Take care of things. The grilling and your passion for it. When did it begin? How did it begin? How uh, did it manifest it, itself? It began a second time that I got married because I used to cook all the time mm -hmm. at home. Uh huh. For the kids and everything. And so what? The second wife said, "Get out there and grill." No, no, no. <laughs> the kids used to love my cooking. They say, "Oh, ma, can't dad cook?" Uh huh. Because his food tastes better. Uh oh, oh. them fighting words. That, huh? No, she. Well, that's why I'm single today. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but you don't look any worse for the wear, my friend. Oh, I'm happy. You believe me. <laughs> He's got his Hawaiian <laughs> shirt on a Wednesday. All right, let's take an exit stage left and get back to the grilling. That's right. <laughs> All right, so this is our pork loin. How long has this been on here? About a minute or two? Eight. Eight minutes. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. Okay. And some nice grill See marks how it there. Looks? Yeah. So yeah. you're going to flip it over. No, no. I'm just going to go like this. Oh, just to show us. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just Give us another peek. Lift it up one more time so Wendy, our photographer, can get a little peek. You see all those How's that beautiful look? grill marks in there. That's what you want. Yeah. Presentation. That's the name of the game. That's so, right. Talk to us again about the prep work that went into that tenderloin. Okay. The prep work that went into that. Marinate it in red wine for a half hour to four minutes. Doesn't matter. Minutes. Doesn't have to be very expensive. It can be a two dollar bottle. It could be tea bird if you want to. Okay. Let's not get crazy. I'm aging myself now. <laughs> oh, I know what tea bird is. <laughs> oh, I know what tea bird is. <laughs> twenty five cents a dog. Caught. Twenty twenty. I know what it all is. Come on. It's not a bad thing for you though. Sometimes. So you marinate it for half an hour. Half hour, and then and then you wipe it down because if you marinate it too long. The acids from the wine permeate the meat, mm -hmm. and it oh. tastes very so, sour. So this is not one of those that you want to do overnight. You're not no, ever. no. Okay. Because All right. I, well, that's why it took me three months because I, I, I marinated overnight and marinated and it just didn't two taste days. Right. And to me, it didn't taste right. Okay. No, right. I said something's wrong here. So you marinate it, and then we get your special rub on it. My special rub. Well, actually, the special rub. If you go online to Emerald Lagasse, yeah, and Punch in dry rubs. Right. That, that's, that's the rub. That's the dry rub. Oh, Louis we got Louisiana, it out of him. Louisiana dry rub. Hey, listen, if somebody can because get it. Because I know so you like hot. I do. And he, he puts a lot of cayenne I know. I've eaten in a few of his restaurants. They are very spicy. <laughs> yep. Now, Jer yes. Jerry, how long is this going to be on uh, on the grill? Typically, we're cooking on Bernie's grill outdoors, which is a beautiful grill. If it was on the outside grill, this would be cooked by now. Okay. But since it's inside, it's probably going to take a little longer. Okay. You know, I'm just going to try on the Let, me, let me ask you this question. Yes. What's your specialty? If you, had, if you had a bunch of people over and you were under the gun and you wanted to impress a bunch of people, what big guns would you pull out of your holster to do? My chocolate pie. Ooh. You grill I a make, chocolate no, pie? No, I make an awesome chocolate pie. Make an awesome But what would you grill? What do I grill? Hamburgers, hot dogs, pork loin, uh -huh. ribeye. 
T-bone. Chicken? Chicken, especially. She, my friend Janice, does one heck of a... She does a fantastic job. And she oh. says she taught you everything you know, right, Jen? <laughs> hey, I'm just going to get a bite of this. Let me see. Oh, I love that twice baked get, potato. I was going to say, you got to get a little twice to twice baked That's good. Potato. And I can taste the rub. The rub is really good, too. Yeah. Of course it is. <laughs> can't go wrong, it is. You can't go wrong with Emerald. Jerry of Cumberland, stop by his house. Are you, you going to be growing this 4th of July? You can stop by my house, but I, I'll be outside, but you won't see a grill. Okay. It's over to Janice's house. Oh, it's at Janice's <laughs> house. So everybody right. head, to, not, everybody head not, to Janice's house. I'm not telling you where she lives. All right, fair <laughs> enough. Jerry, thanks for coming in today. Yeah, Jerry, hey, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's our pleasure. And I hope to come back again in... Maybe I can bake something. Well, we hope Ooh, to have you. Thanks idea. for continuing to be one of our supporters here at the uh, Roadshow. Oh, this is awesome. Are well, you kidding me? We're glad you enjoyed it. I love this.